all right guys welcome back to the second video and in this video I'm going to tell you why I like uh, David Connolly's CSS module so much and I'm going to contrast his CSS course uh, with some other courses online and you will see what I mean when I do that now in the previous video I was uh, again comparing David's course with uh, stuff like lynda.com and Pluralsight if you haven't watched my previous video and you're new to this uh, channel I would uh, highly recommend that you watch my first video because this second video is kind of a continuation from that and uh, you would be able to understand things in much better context and you know you'll be able to understand me much better if you watch the first video I was actually searching for a course like what David is offering now for about a couple of years and uh, my first stop was all these sites like which I showed in my previous video Udemy and uh, plural site and lender.com and then it came to me that uh, maybe there are some web developers professionals who are offering some courses on their own you know so I would search the web for courses like that and I did manage to find a few good courses online by professional developers and which I consider good so in this video I'm going to compare those courses with David's CSS module alright so let's jump to the first one here this is a course by uh, somebody called Rachel Andrews I think that's her yeah Rachel Andrew now Rachel Andrew if you don't know is actually quite popular in the front-end web development circle she does a lot of articles for smashing magazine smashing magazine I hope you know is a very popular website which is you know into cutting-edge HTML and web development stuff so she's a regular contributor there and she has excellent articles on uh, smashing magazine that's why in this video I'll be contrasting courses lit you know created by people like this and comparing it to the I'm just comparing it to for your information just the CSS and HTML modules of uh, Speed Coding Academy not the whole thing so here the first one is actually covers only one aspect of CSS mainly in detail which is CSS layout okay now first of all let us see how much this course is for alright yeah the course will cost you about hundred dollars for the fundamentals and the advance will be hundred and thirty dollars if you buy both it's packaged for two hundred dollars so just to learn the layout just CSS layout which is covered in just one module it's part of this module not the complete he teaches you everything you need to know all of it alright here just for the layout I pay two hundred dollars and uh, there is no I've studied her site extensively there is no free software thrown in which will help me with speeding up my front-end development and uh, there is no talk of speed coding alright now if I come here I'll see is this course for me why should I buy this course now one uh, thing I want to get across to you in this video is that we are going to look at three websites which are offering three courses for building websites basically CSS focused sites and we're going to look at it as a customer in the context that I want to learn CSS uh, and building websites for getting a job online in the job market or as a freelance web developer that is the context in which we'll be looking at these courses and contrasting it with speed coding academies just one module just the CSS module alright so we know the cost now is two hundred dollars just for learning the CSS layout by this person and who's she she is Rachel Andrew like I said she is very popular in the circles and she does uh, you know she, I've been writing working with CSS writing and speaking about CSS layout since it first became a possibility right from the beginning okay so that's a big deal she's been writing about it and speaking about it but uh, I want to know 
uh, what do you have to offer for me in context of a, as a freelance developer? Will you make me, can I build a complete website which uh, my client, which will be acceptable to my client after I'm through with your course? Now, if you look at what she has to say, she says, I've been writing about CSS for well over 10 years. So she's writing, she's authoring, co-authoring, and she has done books for SitePoint. And she does, I mean, I'm in demand on the conference circuit for my talks of modern CSS layout. But uh, what I'm saying is, like I said, I had shortlisted this course because she was among the very few people who are giving out a very decent course, you know, and uh, it comes well recommended. But the thing is, uh, she's mostly into, you know, this kind of stuff, conferencing and writing books. I don't know how hands-on she is. So, yeah, so uh, she's a web developer. She says that and uh, she is into basically writing, authoring and lectures and courses, right? Compare that with, contrast that with David who does this daily hands-on. And in terms of context, if I want to be a freelance developer, then learning it from a freelance developer who's doing it daily is a big win, you know. And again, what about support? Like we know David is available for us 24-7. What kind of support do I get? So... I think there's a fact here, right? Uh, uh, yeah, do you offer support? I can offer support with your account, making purchases and so on. I don't know what that means. For general help with the materials, read this carefully. For general help with the materials, you will have access to our Slack community. So she has a Slack community, which is very commonplace nowadays, you know, with people who put out courses, they have a Previously, it used to be a Facebook group, but now I think people have moved on to this, where I'll be happy to help answer questions about the course materials or other CSS questions, which is good. But, you know, guys, actually what isn't included is debugging unrelated CSS for you. Unrelated means unrelated to the course. Fair enough. But my hope is that we can build a community in Slack of people who are learning and improving their CSS layout skills and that between us we can help point everyone in the right direction with which what, what this means is that uh, the community you guys should help each other out that's what it feels like between us we can help point everyone in the very you know fuzzy kind of language but it is just contrast this with David with David for every video I can add as many comments as I want questions as I want and I can make sure that every one of those comments goes right to his phone. And he comes on board and answers this question. There is no limit. There is no somebody else in my group helping me out. It's David helping me out, right? So that is a big contrast to what is being offered as support out here, which is good. I'm not saying, but again, we are talking of context and contrast. So in terms of context, we don't have a full-time web developer here. She is more into the lecture and uh, education circuit. So I'm definitely better off here because he's doing it. He's not stopped it and moved on to doing lectures and writing books. He does that. That is, It just so happens that suddenly he decided to give out a course like this. So we are in luck. Whereas this person, I told you, like the reason I shortlisted her is because she is good. You know, she knows her stuff. If you check out her articles on in Smashing Magazine, you will know she knows what she is talking about. But again, I end up paying $200 just to learn the CSS layout and that is all covered in just inside this module and more. Complete CSS. Here I get to learn how to build a complete website for for any any client who comes up to me as a freelancer. Here there is no context of freelancer or job and it's only the layout part which I have to pay for and there is the support is through Slack and there is no software being dished out and there is no talk of speed coding, alright?